So uh, Commonwealth Games, it's a little bit of a sticky one for you this year. I mean, four years ago, you get named to the wrestling team, break your leg, can't can't uh, can't compete. This time around, it was looking like you get named to the team, you're going to have an MMA fight instead and, and can't yeah. compete. Uh, that's obviously been uh, called off for, uh, what, the second or third time now. So a yeah. little, little bit frustrating, but uh, I guess silver lining, you get to go to Birmingham. Yeah, exactly. It's not often that there's a silver lining when fights, you know, twice over get uh, pulled out uh, or the opponent pulls out sort of thing and they can't get a replacement. That in itself obviously sucks. Um, but in this unique situation that I found myself in, it meant that I was able to um, rejoin the Commonwealth Games team after having to pull out, essentially, because um, I have to fight, you know, based on the contract and stuff. So, yeah, having that fall through and then in the PFL guys, like, saying, yep, try your best to get back on the in the in the games there. Um, they, were, they were backing it as well. So, yeah, it, it somehow worked out somehow it worked out very well and I'm very like grateful for that Do, I guess you would have come to the the realization that you know you're gonna have to forego the com games again um what was that sort of decision like or was it not really a decision because you already had that fight lined up uh no it was a decision and I was like delaying it as much as I could because I was trying to find out if my fight was 100% going to happen um or if there was going to be a backup girl if this chick pulled out again if, like I considered that she would like would would pull out again um and yeah so the, it was a decision that I was dragging my toes on dragging my feet like trying not to but like obviously NZ team needed to know uh, a straight yes or no kind of thing um and literally 24 hours after I was like okay well I can't come over um 24 hours later the chick pulled out again so I was like fuck <laughs> <laughs> what what did it take to get you back in the team then like after you just told them that actually i, I can't come over you, did you have to ring them back and be like um hey guys you you still got a still got a plane ticket for me well uh the nz oc has been like nothing but uh you know going out their way being super helpful understanding my situation i was clear with them from the get-go about like the the situation i was in uh, or at least like our NZ wrestling had communicated. So everyone on the team, whether it's my wrestling team or NZ like uh, OC people, they all knew my situation and knew that like this is not something that I was taking lightly, like the decision. Um, so then when I was able to touch base with them the next day and be like, hey, look, what we thought could happen happened. Uh, they um, they just had to wait for Birmingham committee to okay it through like yep this space and everything like that there and then it was it ended up obviously being all good well that's positive i guess uh, like i know say. i was checking my <laughs> emails like non-stop for those three or four days I was like refresh 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 like waiting on waiting on that answer was it nice to get that across the line after you know things didn't quite go to plan four years ago or five years ago now i guess it was yeah, but I'm not going to count my chickens, you know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. uh, <laughs> accidents happen and, like, you know, God willing, I get in there, like, all in one piece and that, and that. But I know just shit happens and you got to be, you don't want to think that it will happen, but you just need to be, like, aware that that's a, always a possibility with everything in these sort of sports, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, I'm absolutely wrapped. And I'll be more wrapped once I step foot in the village, step both feet, walking myself into the village, like ready to go. What actually happened last time? Was it just a training injury? Yeah, um, I I uh, went to my second to last res wrestling session and I was up in Canada. Uh, I'd like done heaps of fundraising to go up there, stay at Airbnb, train at the a university there. And... I was on my second to last training session, just took a random like shot during warm up, and the kid didn't even like spoil on me. Uh, he just sort of put a little bit of weight and moved around, but my bone must have been like getting brittle or something, and it just went back at the bottom of my leg there. Um, so just like a freak, freak accident. Um, looking back, like maybe because it was before I worked with Geordie, the fight dietitian, so perhaps I was 
Um, my body was not getting the nutrients and the fuel that it really needed. I wasn't going around hungry or starving, but I was getting light too early, probably. Actually, right. like looking at it, like I didn't have to be that light that early. I thought I was just fit and ready to go and I didn't want to stress about the weight side of it, but probably came down to my bones getting weaker through malnutrition in essence with the amount of training I was doing. Right, yeah. That, that's a pretty plausible way of looking at it. Yeah. You see that quite often. What does this mean for your uh, MMA career now, though? Um, like, what happens with this fight that's been postponed twice? PFL are running out of cards for the year. Like, are they well, going to have to try and get you on a different promotion? Okay, so, well, I had a chat with Ray and Greg up at, at the Atlanta fights the other weekend, and pretty much it was easy to, like, put out there, like, don't even offer that check anymore because... Don't even, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> Just like, don't, let's not fuck around with it. But easy as that, um, unreliable. So, so also I said, put out there, like I can fight at 145, seeing as it's not in the regular season, these are undercard fights. I can fight at 145 and there's so many more uh, girls at that weight that we can uh, choose from. So just give us a heads up and I can make the weight, no, no drama. So he said, yep, yeah, actually that works, that works well. So um and it's still getting the experience that I need like the weight cut's not really a cut for me so no drama um so there's that and then they was going to try and get me on uh the Wales or the London card over when I'm in a, over in the UK because they're the following two weekends after my competition there so I'd already be over there um those cards obviously with all the playoffs have, are quite full anyway like as in like no space um and but I will be there so if they need a replacement or whatever for one of these lightweight girls I mean like I'm already there and I'm at the weight so that makes sense um whether that happens or not whatever but like I'll be like prepared for that either way um and then <clears throat> there was a another organization that did like the owner of it did say like asked if I needed any fights da, 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 and I thought I wouldn't be able to fight with them because of PFL but uh when I talked to the to the guys up in Atlanta, they were like, oh, no, we'll release you for one fight with them so you can at least get one in and know that you've got that one before the end of the year and then maybe another with us. Well, it's all pretty planned out then. <laughs> <laughs> well, to an extent, of, to an extent, as far as bunch, MMA goes. Just a bunch of noise. <laughs> <laughs> What's their, their plan for you? Like when, when you go over and, and have your trial fight, you do exceptionally well in that. Um, they obviously kept you around. Um, have they got sort of a plan to build you into competing in that tournament next season? Yeah, exactly. And, that, and that's, that's exactly what the plan is. Uh, they cut most of the girls, I think, bar two of us. Uh, two of, one of them had a visa issue, so she's like still there, but just can't fight for them yet. Uh, they are, oh yeah, three of us they kept. And so... One of them's in the regular season. One of them's still um, still doing the odd fight with them. Uh, and I should have had two by now as well, but obviously with that chick pulling out, I haven't had them. So the, the plan is to get a few fights, to get more experience in that with these guys uh, under the umbrella or even on that one release as well. And then to be at a, at a point where like they can put me in the regular season. So whether it's next season or the one after, not bothered it might be the one after based on like how we're going now but I'm always there as like a fill-in if they need it as well which like that so often is the case with these with the people they they call up someone that's like waiting in the wings if someone is injured and they need to fill that spot and they need to have the fight you know what I mean I guess just finally um you now turn your attention solely to wrestling I assume um you've been training MMA most of the year I guess making that transition to to focus a little bit more on wrestling for the next couple of weeks, probably not too big a deal given that you are working at American top team, one of the, the best gyms in the world with some of the best uh, female athletes in the world. Yeah. Well, I've actually been wrestling like all year round. Um, I went over to the, to the U S open and wrestled there. So I have, I have been training um, like wrestling throughout as well. Obviously now just lean, like pull back a little bit on those, all those extra all those extra sessions that don't help me towards the games, but like something like a grappling session, even if it's, if it's a bit bit of a variation, I can still focus on my wrestling during that with the right training partners, you know? So, um, and there's, and there's, like I said, there's so many girls that the right size and uh, boys that you can wrestle with as well and, and Mako's wrestling training. So uh, for me, that's perfect. 
So we'll leave it at that and uh, let you get about your day. Thank you very much for the time, as always. Oh, and, thanks, uh, buddy. I appreciate you. Hope all goes to plan in uh, Birmingham and you get to step foot on the mats this time. Fucking A. <laughs> <laughs>